riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Guys, I'm free in my RV. Yeah. Good morning from Rastila. We have a neighbor there on a trend. Must be a trend. Greetings from the Rastila campground in Helsinki, Finland. Before we go explore the city, we get a visit from fellow RVers and YouTubers from Finland, Johnny and Sarah. Their channel, fantastic. What about yourselves? Yes, so I'm Johnny. And I'm Sarah, and we are also making YouTube videos, so you should check out our channel too. Fantastic, and we started living in our van maybe two years ago. Yeah and made one year tour around Europe and now we are full-time in Finland and working 95 jobs. Yeah, full-time jobs and we are hoping to save money enough that we can someday quit our jobs and travel forever. It was really cool to meet them as we followed them last year as they were touring Europe in their van. We actually discovered them as we were researching small RVs. Here is a bird's eye view from our campground located at the eastern outskirts of Helsinki. Let's take the metro to the center of the city. Why do I get the feeling we've been here before? That's because we have! We are taking the bus towards this neighborhood called Tolo. And here we are. Let's walk across this nice park towards the bay called Seura Saren Selka. Very nice park, nice houses too. Well, hello there. Do you know where Cafe Regatta is? Or maybe you don't speak English. Okay. Yes, we're looking for this very famous cafe called Regatta. As expected, there is a line to go in, so we might skip it. Cool, check it out, a Soviet-era Lada station wagon. Lots of people here paddleboarding on this warm late spring morning, actually early afternoon. We had a late start today. Hello there. No, this way, look this way. Hey, there you go. There it is, the Sibelius Monument, dedicated to Jean Sibelius, a Finnish composer of the late 19th and early 20th centuries. He is said to have helped Finland develop a national identity during its struggle for independence from Russia, and is considered the country's greatest composer. It is the tourist attraction that everybody goes to when they are here in Helsinki. I mean, it is tour bus after tour bus with people from all over the world. The Sibelius Monument was unveiled on September 7th, 1967. The more than 600 steel pipes are meant to look like stylized organ pipes. I guess they got tired of puddleboarding, and I don't care how good it is, I don't feel like making that line. The Romantic Forest, there's the Sibelius back there. Once again, the Sibelius Monument. We're going to walk a little bit here and take a tram. By the way, just like two weeks ago, we used the HSL mobile ticket app and got an all-day pass for the public transportation in the city. Very convenient. Here comes our tram.
Such a vibrant city, Helsinki. It looks like the whole city is out on the street on this Saturday afternoon. Yep, that could have been us. Right there. Here's the Helsinki train station, and today the city definitely feels a lot busier than the last time we were here. Train station, this Illuminati looking guys. Definitely busier than two weeks ago, and not so much with tourists, but locals. It is also a very warm Saturday, last time we were here on a Monday. Yeah, there he is, speeding camera. Well, you know me and my espresso addiction, and this is a pretty nice coffee shop here. Well, that was pretty good espresso, now a very good espresso, actually. This is uh, time to continue exploring Helsinki. Feeling a little overwhelmed, so we decide to stop here for a beer at this corner cafe. You know, people watch and linger for a little bit. Feeling refreshed, we continue exploring. This nice looking building is the Athenaeum, the Museum of Finnish and International Art. And this one is the National Theatre, very modern with the electronic ticker. Uh, I like it when the old and the new can coexist. Yeah, let's go to the casino first, but I'm sorry, I don't think I'll be able to take you guys with us. Of course, we are here during the 2018 World Cup, so there is excitement everywhere. We wanted to sit at one of these outdoor tables here, but the one that we had our eye on, someone snatched it as we blinked. And it feels kind of lonely inside. Very good IPA though. The beer and you. Mm, I like that. 18 degrees Celsius. Yeah, that's perfect weather. Well, this is where we're going. The Kippis uh, Festivalit in Helsinki. Fun fact, Kippis means cheers in Suomi, so I have high hopes. Admission is 20 euro and you get a debit card with 20 euro credits to buy beer and food. Of course, 20 is just the minimum. You can add more if you want. Not too many people here yet. Very appropriate song, considering today is the last day of our epic road trip of the Nordic countries. Okay, let's sample the local cuisine. It's a bratwurst, uh, wrapped in a flatbread. Really good. The owner of the food truck, German guy, he spoke perfect Spanish. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it is going to get much more animated than this. So after we consume our $40 worth of beer and food, it is time to go. It is really quite a shame more people didn't show up because it seems like a really good concept. Everybody in the city enjoying the nice weather their own way. Check it out, that is one very cool vehicle. That's Finland's sloppy joes, I guess. We continue, wandering aimlessly. Oh, 
This is the famous Esplanade. Wow, the Esplanade here really happening today. Well, the whole city is really. That's probably why that enclosed festival seemed a little lackluster. <laughs> Very nice here at the Greeley. Finnish birds definitely have a thing for statues' heads, I'm telling you. And beautiful rainbow effect on that glass. There's the fountain we saw last time, which symbolizes Helsinki's birth. Wow, well, no market today. It's a whole different experience. That's the one we need. Actually, that may be a little too small. I'm really not sure how I like it better when the market is here or open like this. I'm thinking the latter. Everybody out and about. There's even people in the sea pool. Who wants to go to Suomenglina? Another time, perhaps. This church here, the Ospensky Cathedral. And just when we thought Helsinki couldn't get any more picturesque today, we get a hot air balloon because why not, right? <laughs> what a perfect afternoon, evening, really. It's like 8 p.m., believe it or not. The aforementioned church, by the way, Eastern Orthodox, built in the 1860s. Celebrate! Days like this at these high latitudes are a photographer's haven. Magic hour lasts for hours. Everywhere you look, the light is so perfect. Okay, one more shot of the cathedral. Last one, I promise. It is time to start winding down and wrapping it up because tomorrow we got an early start. We have to give Peter back his RV, wish we could take it home. <laughs> Then we have to fly home. Helsinki here? Definitely worth visiting. The whole of Finland, especially on days like this one. Although I wouldn't mind coming back someday in the winter and see what it looks like then. I would definitely love to visit the Lapland in the wintertime, see the northern lights. So much to see, so little time. And I got my wish. Last time we were here in Senate Square, there was a festival celebrating the 100th anniversary of the Finnish Defense Forces. And at that time, I expressed my desire to see the square in its natural state. As I said, I got my wish. By the way, this is the Helsinki Cathedral of the Finnish Evangelical Lutheran denomination built from 1830 to 1892, and it is a major landmark here in the city. And our time here is running out. Let's take the metro back to the campground and get ready for the journey home. Well, 
we're back in our neighborhood. Saying goodbye to the neighborhood, our first K market. I haven't shown you our new site here at the campground. We, are, we made it. No, that's not it. This is it. There's Savonia. In the morning, Peter's friend and our new friend Tero gives us a ride to the airport after returning the RV. Having some time to kill, we have our last Finnish IPA and then off we go towards Copenhagen. I get one of these front seats on the left hand side because I want to see the horizon bridge from the air. That is the bridge that joins Sweden and Denmark. My one miscalculation was that when you get one of these front seats, they make you put all your luggage in the overhead compartment and guess where my good camera is. There's the Aland Archipelago between Finland and Sweden. Now, flying over Sweden. Such beautiful clouds. There's that bridge I was talking about, an engineering marvel, which opened to the public in the year 2000. It disappears into the ocean at this artificial island, and the rest is a tunnel. We finally land in Copenhagen, Denmark, and a couple of hours later, we board our Dreamliner. On this one, I went on the right-hand side because I want to see Greenland from the air. Off we go! That's Copenhagen down there. One of these days we are going to visit. Here's our nice and tasty menu above the clouds. And now we are flying over Iceland. Greenland will be coming soon. The North Pole, somewhere out there. A couple of thousand miles that way. And I do believe that is the coast of Greenland. And we do have icebergs. It is so cool and almost emotional for me to see Greenland from the air because, let's face it, this is a land that probably none of us will ever be able to set foot on. At least not the vast inland wilderness, but who knows, perhaps one day. We've got more icebergs in this area. Such beautiful, barren, desolate land. And it looks like a glacier out there. 
Yep, definitely a glacier. More than one, actually. I decided to darken the window on the Dreamliner a little bit, which actually produces a pretty neat effect. Our snack arrives, and um, mm -mm, not the greatest sandwich ever, just saying. Well, hello everybody and welcome to South Florida! I hope you have enjoyed our two-week adventure in Finland, Norway, and to some extent in Sweden as well. Make sure to watch the whole series if you haven't already. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road.